Let's try this auto that I have created. Let's go. Pang. Boom. Stun. Oh, air combo. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, get down to the ground. One, two, three, four. Okay, grapple. Pang, 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 pang. Bam! What's up, Gamester? Easy Fred is here once again, and I'll be a game guy for today. If you subscribe to my channel, you're gonna get my first impressions, reviews, and tutorials on the latest and the top mobile games today. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, PhD. So stay tuned, watch this video up until the end, sit back, and don't forget to take it easy. Alright Gamester, since you asked for it, so for today we're going to talk about the Kung Fu Master Combos or KFM. Alright, well just a disclaimer Gamester, this might not be the perfect combo, so if we have Pro Kung Fu Master who's watching this video right now, your suggestions, your tips and tricks and combos will be very much appreciated, so don't forget to comment it down below, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the game. Let's go! Alright Gamester, so now let's go ahead uh, and let's go inside Homebun Training Area so that I can show you the skills of uh, this uh, character KFM or Kung Fu Master. So you can just go right here at the upper right corner of your screen and then go to Battlefield and then Homebun Training Area, enter Homebun Training Area. Let's go! Okay, so now we're here in the training area, and if you would like to try it, there are training lists here for the combos that you would like to try, but these are pretty default combos already. But you can go ahead and try it anyway, but let's just close this for the meantime, and let's go to the skills first. So you can go to the skills by going through this icon right over here, which looks like fire. Alright, so a skill explanation first. Now let me explain to you the skills that we are going to use for this combo. So basically, we have two combo. We have the air combo and we have the ground and pound combo, as we call it. That's th that is just the terms that I call it, okay? It's not really the official <laughs> term for it, but uh, yeah, let me show it to you. So the first route that we should go is, of course, there's only one skill that you should always go first. And this is called Flying Slam because this rushes an enemy to attack for 190.8% of attack power as damage and bleed for 15 seconds while increasing the caster's movement speed by 30% for 10 seconds. So let me show that to you, okay, so that you would know how it looks like. So it's right over here. Boom. That's it. That is the skill that we're talking about. So that's basically flying slam. And then the next one is you have to stun your enemy. So it's going to be the leading palm. So uses concentrated energy to attack the enemy for 190.8% of attack power as damage and stuns for 3 seconds. And this is how it looks like. Boom. There you go. There's 3 stars on the head of your enemy. So that is how it looks like. And then... The next one is we're gonna go right here. So basically what we're doing right now is the air combo, okay? Take note of that air combo. And then we're sky kick. Uh, launches enemy airborne for 220% of attack power as damage. So let me show that to you. So it has to be near right here. And then... Uh, boom. Boom. There you go. You see? It moves the enemy up. It kicks the enemies up. So that is the Sky Kick. And then I follow it up with Rising Kick, which pursue an airborne enemy to kick three times for 180% of attack power as damage. So let me show it again to you. Stun, kick up, and then that's the follow-up kick. There you go. See it? That's the follow-up kick right over there. And then last but simply not the least is Falling Star. So it strikes an airborne enemy down for... 700% of attack power as damage. So that's a very huge damage. So let me show that to you. So stun. Kick up. Follow up kick. And then slam. Boom. There you go. That's a slam. And then the enemy will be knocked down. Alright. So that's the air combo first. And then now let me show you the other combo. Which is the grapple combo. Right over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So fine slam. You know that already. We're gonna go for thruster punch. So thruster punch is right over here. Boom. There you go. That's thruster punch. And then the next one is... But let me tell you what thruster punch does. So it gathers energy to attack the enemy for 212% attack 
of attack power as damage and increases damage by 25%. So you already saw it. Let's go for Hellfire Kick. Kicks an enemy with the right foot for 340% of attack power as damage. So let's check that out. So it's basically it's the second one. Pang. Pang. There you go. That's the kick. Saw it? That's the kick. The second one. And then the third one is Leg Sweep. So sweeps enemy's leg for 250% of attack power as damage and knockdown for one second. So let me show that to you. So this is going to be the third skill, okay? Watch closely so that you guys can see. Watch closely, guys. One, two, three. There you go. That's the leg sweep. Okay, so the enemy is knocked down. And then the next one is going to be the grapple. This is what I like. Grapple. So basically, it will just assume grapple stands on a down enemy for eight seconds. Let me show it to you. So one, two, three, four. There you go. That's the grapple right over there. Saw it? So you already saw the airborne. You now already saw the grapple. I'd like to combine it, okay? But let me explain to you what grapple, what's gonna happen when you grapple an enemy. So after the grapple, you need to go for this grapple stance. There you go, it's ground and pound. That's why I call it ground and pound because that's the basic skill of grapple, which is ground and pound. That's the first thing that you're gonna do. And then after that, you can choose from either Clover, attacks a grapple enemy for 900% of attack power as damage and knocks down for 3 seconds. And then choke hold, attacks by choking the grappled enemy for 20% of attack power as damage. And then headbutt, headbutt grabs grappled enemy for 480% of attack power as damage and recovers 10% of the caster's attack power as HP over 3 seconds. Okay, so I've been really trying to use all of them, but I just can't, okay? I'm not quite sure if there are other ways to use that. So for those pro players of KFM out there, please let us know if we can use all of this in one combo. But as far as I've tried it, you can only use ground and pound. Then you can choose from either one of these, which I'm going to show you in a bit. So one, two, three, and then grapple, and then pound, pound, pound. Oh, we're, we're slow. You need to be very fast when you do that, okay? So let's try it again. So again. One, two, three, four. Come on, ground pound. Ah. Hey! <laughs> All right, you can actually use it for your auto skill as well. So your auto skill, you can adjust it right over here on this two wrench over here. And then I just want to show you how is my auto looks like. So flying slam first, leading palm, sky kick, rising kick, falling star, swift strike, cyclone kick, iron butterfly, and then thruster punch, hellfire kick, leg sweep, grapple, and then uppercut is the last one. Okay, game sir, why did I make the upper uppercut assault as the last one? Because once you use uppercut assault, you will activate the ultimate stance as well. So it will cut out your combo. So my suggestion is you use your uppercut slash or your special skills the last part after you finish all the combos, okay? Your normal ultimate skill. <laughs> it's confusing, right? But it's right over here. The fourth skill right over here. This one. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you my auto attack. Let's see if it's going to complete it. Bang. Done. Air combo. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, now down, bang, bang. Now grapple, grapple, come on, grapple it, grapple it. Oh, dag, 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 Yeah, there you go. Beautiful, right? So that's the combo. And now you were able to activate the stats. Okay, so it depends on your gamester what you would like to do. But I have showed you the path already on which one you would like to use. And that's basically how my combo looks like all right so there you go again yeah beautiful all right enough of this so <laughs> i was just amazed by really the combo of this kung fu master it's really beautiful right you'll have an air combo right on top and then once it drops down to the ground you're gonna grapple your enemy that's really a fantastic combo. That's why I choose it to be that way. But if you like it the other way around, which you grapple your enemy first and then you do the air combo. So it depends on you. But for me, I prefer air combo first and then you drop your enemy down to the ground like that. Boom. And then that's when you grapple your enemy and do the ground and pound, which is amazing. 
Alright, so Gamester, if this video was helpful for you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share this video to those AFM users out there in this game blade in Soul Revolution. And again, for those pro players out there, if you have any ideas, tips, or suggestions with regards to this combo, go ahead and comment it down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so that you'll be notified and updated when I have a new video. This is Fred once again. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out to everyone. Keep safe to all of you. And don't forget to take it easy. Goodbye for now. See you again on my next video. Goodbye now.